say hello without looking like you're surprised. <laughs> hello and welcome to this week's podcast, vlogcast, whatever it's called. It's a podcast technically, but it's got video and so there, you're not here, stop fidgeting. And so, um, and so it's got video, so technically it's a vlogcast. Now this week's co-host, co-host, I think, does co-host work for you? Oh, he's not I think co-host will work. Do you think co-host works? Okay. Now, I've known this uh, this uh, person for more than... Uh, how long have I known you? I must have known you about 30 years. Which is remarkable, because I'm only 29. Anyway, I haven't seen her for 20 years, and she's here now. She's an extraordinary singer, but don't bother about all that. She's my friend. She's my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Horse. <laughs> and also, strangely... I feel like you could be my non-identical twin, or my identical twin, because like... Isn't <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. that weird? It's weird, we haven't seen each other for 20 years, it's like one of those stories. Welcome you know? Ronnie's. No, no, it's not. Two Ronnie's. Two Ronnie's. Two Ronnie's. Two Ronnie's. Two Ronnie's. Yeah. Am I here now? Yeah, you can be the short one. So the only thing is I wouldn't wear that lippy, that just you wouldn't wear that. It wouldn't be my colour. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to say au contraire, because it's oh. my colour and we are wearing... Oh, right, well, okay, we, fit, we, we match. <laughs> so what are you doing? How long do you reckon it's been since I've seen you? I mean, apart from in the kitchen when I boiled the cake. <laughs> um, it has to be 20 plus, doesn't it? God, that's horrific. My memory of first meeting you was at uh, the Third Eye Centre. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an arts place in Glasgow. Yeah, it's, not it's, like, not about... it's not like a whoa <laughs> thing. No offence <laughs> to people with a third eye a third out there, eye, but it's yeah. not whoa. Yeah. Uh, what, what were we doing there? You were the you were you were an Alexander sister. Yeah, I used to have a double act. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be uh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of creepy because I'm like it, it's weird. What were we doing there? I, do you know what I remember? It was a charity, I'm sure it was we a charity. We did a lot of charities. We did, we did a lot <laughs> of charities. Still do. We still do. Do you know what I remember? We're available. <laughs> I remember you and me and that guy that used to host Countdown. Did, did you? Him? Did you? Yeah. Oh, my God. And Richard was, Whiteley. Yes. Who's and now sadly passed. He's, yeah. he's, doing, he's doing the Countdown in the sky as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. But there was, that was uh, in Edinburgh. And there was the topless lady. The That's topless right. The topless model. Uh, can't remember. So will come back to me in a little oh, bit. But, it, but uh, what you missed was you didn't come back to Glasgow, did you? I don't know. Because we all went back to Malmaison. Right. So with hotel. Richard Whiteley. Oh, he liked her. And Bob Down arrived. <gasps> oh! And, and, he's good, and then we sat and sang songs. I've since met Bob in Australia, actually, and that was good as well. Bob but Down's brilliant, actually. Very can, you put a wee, can you put a video thing of Bob Down there? Or what? a picture? Go on, put a picture of Bob Down there. So, the, so Bob Down, <laughs> Richard, where do you want Richard Whiteley? Uh, maybe here? There, Richard so Whiteley. So the stuff enough for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know who I met recently? This is kind of boasting, but not really, because when I tell you, because I'm looking at you and I'm thinking of me, really. Which is what happens with most people. I met Billy Idol recently, right? Who's lo oh, he's lovely. I bet you he's nice. He's, no, he's lovely, but when I met him, I went, nice hair. <laughs> and then he went, you too? <laughs> <laughs> he was really nice, Billy Idol. I met to say to you as well, what? I watched your Ross King um, um, podcast and he was talking about Adam Adam and I remember Adam Adam and oh, when I was a kid. <laughs> I do. No, no. Nobody else. No, no, I do. no. no. <laughs> Nobody else remembers. And I was like, when Ross said Adam Adam, I went, huh, he remembers Adam Adam. I do as well. Where, where was Adam Adam? Adam? It was no, a black and white thing from the 60s. A real, we wore a cape. He was a kind of spy type character. But Ross, if you're watching this, I'm with you. I remember it too. Don't worry. That took a long time for because we when I was trying to say Adam that Man, <laughs> and he was like Adam Adam Man. I'm like no, just the Adam oh, no. one, singular no. Adam, right? So you know, I remember it was me, you, Richard Whiteley, and then the topless model, and That's the topless model. I can't remember, but it was awful. There's a C in it so no, 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 there's no. a C in it somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure. But <laughs> there was it was. No. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> Actually, I had my phone. I've got a number in my phone. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because what I thought... She was like, all the, all the boys loved oh, her. Oh, they loved her. I couldn't remember but, her And she was. did all these modelly things where she put on glasses like this. Uh-huh. She, she was like the topless secretary, wasn't That's she? So, yeah. She did like the glasses with her tits out and everything. And um, and then when she talked, she sort of talked like that. I'm sorry. Jenna? No, no. No, no. No, was it? 
But she, and then she, what she said was she said the first time that she'd had, um, um, she'd done her topless pictures, she'd gone to see a photographer and he'd said, go on then, take your vest off. And it was just like, everybody went, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Anyway, I don't know why I go on that. Well, we but went back to the, sorry. Richard Whiteley was Did very... Did she sing? Was she singing? No, she, she, was, just, she, she was, was just there. With her vest on? Well, she was sort of there, but, uh, but he kept touching everybody. He kept... Oh. Well, not me, but that was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll touch you. But do you know what he asked me to do? Oh. Do you know what I had to do? Oh. Some fan of um, Countdown had written in words to go with this... Do -do 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 <laughs> and he wanted me to sing it. We, do you, he got me to try and sing that. <laughs> He was a very strange da, 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 because I'm on the telly. I do remember that. I do and remember I that. Sing I do that. <laughs> so when people say I can sing a weather report, actually I can sing the countdown tune. I've forgotten all about that. Oh, the things I'm you guys to do. I'm on the telly. And I want to say her name's Coast. Oh, Matt, I can't I'll remember. Come back to it was funny. I did one with him in Edinburgh, with thingy, what's his face? It was in Edinburgh and Glasgow, was it not? Well, I did one at the Edinburgh Festival, and it's one of my claims to fame, is that, is that uh, Stephen Berkoff refused to come on the stage until I was off stage. I know. What did you do that was so offensive? I don't know, he thought it was quite frightening. You were? I know, right, me. Frightening. Yeah. Me. Frightening. You wouldn't come on. Yeah, me. A half Alexander sister. I know, half an Alexander <laughs> sister. Uh, Alex, sis. Right, look, I have... A ton of questions. Uh -oh. Hey, I just want to say to you, Twitter land, uh, I've noticed that when I've asked for questions before, you're like, oh, well, you know, and you maybe have like three or four. Two pages per horse. <laughs> Man. Right, okay. Is this when you put the spotlight on me and, and uh, you make me talk? Uh, imagine you're on an imaginary close-up. Okay, you're on a close-up. So, I can do a close-up. I don't want you to do a close-up. <laughs> no, I don't do a close-up. I was saying notice. That's a <laughs> two to three weeks notice. One of those ones like... like <laughs> <laughs> he comes in with a big piece of card with a hole in it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. So, are you listening? This yeah. is a question. This is from Yvonne. And Yvonne is... Yvonne, you need to change your Twitter handle. <laughs> What's her Twitter handle? It's YR71060. Catchy. Right. So she asks... CIA or something? Yeah, uh, she might be a new CIA. <laughs> Better be careful how I answer this. Very careful. Wait. <laughs> she says, what's the best gig you've ever done? i ever done? Yeah, you've ever done. <laughs> what's the best gig you've ever done? Apart from singing the, count singing the countdown thing, man. That's yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't. Um, I can't think of one. How can you choose just one? I don't know. I've never, I can't even sing horse. Yeah... No, no, you're funny though. That's, I find it hard to be funny. No, that's not true. That's not true. No, sometimes when I talk and be funny. No, well, when I the band get really fed up because we'll be about to start a song and I'll go, ah, that reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to remind people that they're not at the Edinburgh Festival or the comedy fringe or whatever. But I can't think of one show, but I can think of lots of great moments. What's your first gig? Can you remember your first? They say no. you always remember your first. <sighs> I, something about maybe um, Cuckfield Bank, just down from Lanark, a hotel, and me and this guy wearing boiler suits because we thought it would be cool. Were you trying to do the Devo thing, was it that? He, well, he was a big Devo fan. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were, and covers, covers like a um, uh, couple of Bob Dylan covers, uh, like a hurricane. Uh, no. It's Neil Young. But the issue of Bob, I don't remember. I've tried to forget that one because it wasn't good visually. Yeah. Well, I think um, we've all had them though, haven't we? God, um, gosh, I've done so many great gigs. I've done um, uh, Albert Hall was great. Done Did that. Did Albert Hall? <clears throat> yeah, with other supporting cast. Should I be calling you ma'am? No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, Albert, Albert Hall is huge. Sir, maybe, but no. <laughs> I'll um, I'll call you Sir Horse. No, I've done... I've done I some... graduated there. It's a big place. At the Albert Hall? Yeah, did you wear clothes massive. at the time? I did wear clothes. I had to wear one of those funny capes and all that stuff. Oh. Yeah. You, what? But you looked like Adam Adamant. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, needed a cape. <laughs> but fun, when we were driving through the streets, uh, that one of the first strange things I saw was a woman in a full-length cape. She was obviously on the streets, but but not because of the cape. But like a red line thing with big cape, black, you know. And the rest wasn't sort of great, like Willie Jumper. And Did she have a, a red apple? And she no, she, she, <laughs> she looked like she could have been doing that. But yeah, that cape was interesting. But, I, I, you know, 
I'm not sure. I'm not really looking anywhere else because of the the nudity yeah. of the camera. But the <laughs> lipstick's good. <laughs> it's, again, that's not my colour. No, no, that's nobody's colour. That one. But, but Yvonne, gig wise, I can't choose one gig. I've supported BB King. I've supported Tina Turner. Have you? Yeah. BB yeah. King He's came out with a glass of wine. Um, for uh, sorry, a bottle of wine, and we all shared, which was nice. And he told, he said that there was. He said this band. I can't do his voice. And I'll get into trouble for a bad accent. But he. he Massive guy came in. He said, "You know, it's really thank you for opening for me." And um, once before, a little band opened for me, and they're, they're they're kind of doing quite well just now. And we were like, "Oh, who, who was that, baby? Who was that?" Um, you too? Have you heard of them? And I was like, "Yeah." So I think this was his idea. <laughs> going, well, you know, look what happened to them. It could happen to you, but it hasn't. BB, so I think I might sue. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I haven't invited you two to come no, here and do they haven't been in my podcast. Not even asked them. No, not even asked them. Haven't even see if I them. see Bono sitting here yeah. in a few months' time, oh. I'll not be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got another one. Oh, let's talk recovery. Now let's talk recovery and her Twitter handle. Yvonne, listen to this. Let's talk recovery. Right, that's what she calls herself. Her Twitter handle is Let's recover 14. I'm just pointing out to you that it's easier than YR71060. Change it, Yvonne, you know you want to be. Right. Let's Talk Recovery says, if you... What? Do yourself to your audience. <laughs> I talk to Change Yvonne. Change your name. Change your name. <laughs> if you could sing with anyone living or dead, who would it be and why? Cindy Lauper, one of my favourites. Really? Yeah, I love her to bits. Have she's, you met her? I, I did meet her. Is she crazy? I you like the idea that she's crazy. I like the idea that she's kind of small, bouncy and crazy. Like a kind of... She is small, she of is bouncy. Crazy, no. Was I'd she not... say she's kind of scatty, <gasps> more oh. than crazy. Um, I got to meet her, I was just thrilled to bits because I've been a fan for yeah. years. When we were recording the first album, <clears throat> I'm, I'm doing it now. I, I, I had to have an operation of my vocal cords mm -hmm. and I listened to um, her album, the band in the studio got me one of her albums mm -hmm. and I listened to it non-stop. She was amazing. And to get to meet her so many years later and talk to her about vocal techniques, mm -hmm. what she does mm -hmm. before she goes on the stage, what she does when she comes off and that doesn't involve drugs. Uh, <clears throat> You know, or Richard steaming Whiteley. Your, yeah, you steam in your voice, uh, all of that sort of stuff, um, the different exercises. I had a great chat with her. It was just, what well, yeah. for me was a great moment, fantastic. I loved it if you've got a hero and then you yeah. turn out to be magic. There's a photograph and we're like, that, and we're like she's like, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> look who's beside me. I'm so excited, so excited to meet oh. her. So, so I'd love to, I, I don't know if I'd ever get a chance to do that, but for, perform with her. Uh, gosh, the, the list would be endless. Anybody dead? I mean, obviously, well, you know, they're not that entertaining. Like, you really want it. dead ones? Well, you know, anybody dead? You know, Elvis? I would perform with uh, oh. Elvis. Are you okay about this? <laughs> the one. Uh, uh, <laughs> here she goes again. I, and I would perform with, um, with Lenny Kravitz, but not in a singing way. Do you know what I mean? I have yeah. this fantasy he's that, on that, uh, that list. he's in my list, Lenny Kravitz. My my ideal night would be that Lenny comes over and uh, we we both have our pajamas on and we eat pizza and watch some good TV, snuggle. That's that's what I would do. I think somebody might be upset about that. <laughs> I suppose it is. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, no, uh, this is ideal. Because I'm still trying to think of dead people. Uh, yeah, no, mate. You did see, I dead, see dead people. Is there anybody? Well, do you know, like, what, like Pavarotti or anything like that? Would you have sung with him? Oh gosh, that would be a great thing to do, wouldn't it? See me kept watching my language here. Um, you don't have to, watching your language on my podcast? Are you yeah, crazy? Yeah, I'm looking You've over. I'm looking over at your other camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've there's, changed. There's no it. hand in my knee at the moment to tell me to stop. <laughs> well, I can change that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just think that you're Lenny Kravitz and we're all. Oh, well, she's on the next one. Um, Come on in, Wait, pop your head in, pop your head, Come here! Put your hand in, put your, put put your, your hand, hand in, in. that's what to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to speak, because otherwise people will think you're a fictional I'm character. I'm talking to the couch. Uh, Horse's wife is here and she's hiding. <laughs> she's always know. hiding. She's hiding. What? Normally when I say something bad, she'll, she'll squ squish my knee to go shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you see me go... When you're talking to people, you know what's happening. But just now, Lynn did that. I did that. Yeah. There you go. That would be a different expression. <laughs> <laughs> we're, so we're talking about dead people. Dead I, when I, when I, um, my dad loved opera. No, my was uncle it? was an opera singer. And um, 
trying to remember his name. Oh, um, Jose Carreras. That's not your uncle. No, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say I wish you was, but my uncle, my uncle's, got, my uncle's got a beautiful voice. No, Jose Carreras, I love his voice. And, and um, yeah, what a voice. Yeah. We, yeah we, so what did, did you grow up listening to opera then? That was your thing. There was opera in the background. There was Beethoven and stuff like that. But countered with that, um, there was lots of pop music right. as well in the house. But that was me doing that. Um, first person I really ever listened to um, was... Uh, First person I heard that made me go, oh, was John Armadrady. I like that. The, I can walk, walk under whatever she did. There was an album when I was about 13. When walk I was Under like, Ladders? Yes, yeah, that's the thing. The first album she yeah. did that was was um, uh, Love and Affection is the song, oh, of course. Yeah. And uh, I, I was watching Top of the Pops. Yeah. I wasn't really paying attention. I was, was, it was in the background. And I heard the voice and I was like, wow. And I thought, who is this? And if you think about the 70s when I was yeah. growing up, her voice was so distinct, yeah. uh, you know, with the glam rock, etc. around. And there was Joan Armitrade singing Love and Affection, probably one of my favourite songs of all time. Um, and years later, I, I met um, the producer of the album. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I asked him, um, I love that bit where you hear someone breathing in the background. Yeah. And so in my head, that's what it was. Um, and he said, what? So she's like talking about, you know, I just pictured her sitting on the edge of a bed going, I'm, I'm, I'm ha unhappy, I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. And you can hear this, <sighs> like somebody's sleeping. And he went, no. He said, I've got a backwards, I've got a backwards symbol in there. <laughs> and after all that time, I thought it was somebody going, <sighs> Oh wow! Well, that's but like goosebumps. I know, but in my head, goosebumps. that's what it was. But he loved that as well. And so anyway, yeah. So Joan Armstrong was a, is someone maybe I would love to sing with her. She's just retiring. She's doing a solo world tour at the moment. See, I, I like the whole thing as well with her. Was she didn't get her kit off? Do you know what I mean? Like she was singing, and she just like the whole point of being a singer. <laughs> surprise! When she was there to sing, and she kept her clothes on. It was like awesome. What a great idea. You keep your clothes on. I've kept get... my clothes on. I know. Until but... now. I'm like, I've got my swimming clothes yeah, on. Time. It's got it's got swimming. The time. <laughs> hey, you know, I've got an idea because I've got a lot of questions, but I also want to, you to help me out with my music review. So, and right. I've got... Oh, We've probably got three minutes left. No, two. Two minutes. Two, two minutes, five, four. Right, so I've got another question. Right. Um, um, oh, this is an interesting one. This is from Matt Sears. Matt. And your handle is Matt1717. Do you hear that, Yvonne? His name's Matt. <laughs> and his handle is Matt1717. And he says, Have you ever played in Worcester, England? If not, please do. Oh, well, the answer is no. <laughs> and what's your address? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, okay, I wonder have where... I in Worcester? No, I don't think I have. No, no. Are there any venues in, in Worcester, Matt, 1717? That's what I was asking for his address. Yeah, no, 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 I know that. But I just, I think it's a kind of random thing. Oh, my niece told me this thing about, um, it's about the girl. She's got a friend who's a beautician who wants to be Rose King, That's, which is a strange combination. And she told me about this beautician who, you know, there's a new venue opened in Glasgow. What's the big new venue in Glasgow? Well, there's, I mean, there's the, there's how the long ago? <laughs> armadillo, and then there's another one. Is it the armadillo? Oh, the hydro is the new one. Right. So the hydro, and I don't know, I don't remember who it was that opened it, but the beautician was really upset about it, and she said it should be Beyonce. It should be Beyonce, and I am going to write to the people who have this venue, and I'm also going to write to Beyonce and say, hey, Beyonce, it's time for you to come to Glasgow, right? Then, a couple of months later... <clears throat> I was going to say she... Beyonce came to Glasgow. She was in the same rehearsal studios as me. I never got to see her. <gasps> yeah. People were, pests were saying, because I, I tweet that I am somewhere. Yeah. Um, but she didn't appear. It was all her backing singers and her band Aww. in different rooms. But we were in rehearsal that day as well. And uh, I, I always go, oh, I'm here. I'm doing this. And I got several calls from different people going, is she there? Is she there? And I was like, what the hell are they talking about? And I'm like, Beyonce, you know, so people are just obsessive. They yeah. are. So she wrote. So Beyonce did come to she the thing. She did. Event. Yeah, that's, so that's my, what I was looking at. No, no. Kitchen. My niece went to the beautician and said, "Well done. You, you got managed me. to get it done. Yeah. Well, oh, is that your pacemaker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nightmare because I've got to get to the end of the story. So anyway, she said to her, "Well done. Well done. You know, Beyonce is coming." And the woman, the beautician, burst into tears. Did she miss it? Couldn't get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> 
anyway, look, this is part one. I'm going to go pick up the kids. Uh, horse will be back, part two. Okay, All right, love you, bye. <laughs> oh, so, if you want to ask a question, I can't guarantee we'll answer it, but um, but I'll try. You could tweet me a question at, at Lynn Fairgate, or, um, or you can make a comment if you're watching this on the video. And, um, oh, you know what would be awesome? Can you share this? Thanks. Alright, see you later.